that um, this teaching would really benefit us because there must be an awareness, you know, talking about believing the word of the Lord. We must have an agreement with God's word and cut off every other agreement that is not godly. In Jesus' name, a lot of things that we are in agreement with, we don't even know. Um, silence is agreement. Silence is consent. In Jesus' name, but without saying much, um, I want to yield the mic to Pastor Greta, um, and then I will do the. I will close the room later. In Jesus' name, um, Apostle, are you there? Uh, yes, I'm here. Blessings to you, Pastor Craig. Blessings to you. Man. Blessings up to you. Uh, blessings to everyone in the room. Uh, the teaching tonight is going to be on the topic, discerning ungodly and demonic agreements. And this is a word of revelation that the Lord had given me uh, for this time and season and even for future seasons of how important it is for us to really uh, be conscious of what we would agree with. And uh, what the Lord spoke to me was that we need to be careful of demonic agreements and the subtleties of how they can come to bind us and to get us into covenant with it. And even how um, not uh, recognizing demonic agreements uh, can be an undoing to our prayers and having us make ungodly agreements in areas where we really should be governing and having dominion in our sonship and just even in our fivefold offices. Um, one of the things that God had spoke to me is that the enemy will use unassuming and subtle contracts, people and conversations to get us to make high ranking governmental decisions that will gain a foothold in our lives and spheres of influence. And so the enemy wants to do any other following. He really wants to unseat us, dethrone us, usurp us and our kingdom authority, uh, lend us to compromise through agreements and even gain entry in our lives, our spheres of influence and areas where we really should be gatekeeping and really should be seeing the blessings uh, the fruit and harvest of the kingdom of God. And so the scripture passage uh, that I'm going to start off with today is 1 Peter 5 and 8. And it says, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as, uh, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. And that word vigilant in the Greek, it means to keep awake, to watch, to be watchful, okay? To give strict attention to, to cause to be active, to be cautious. It also means to take heed, lest through remission or indolence, some destruction or destructive com malady suddenly overtake you and so it is so essential that we be active in this season we be conscious in our conversations in our interactions um, and uh, what we're signing and what we are agreeing to that word devour in that scripture means to drink down to gulp entirely, to devour, to swallow up. So the enemy is not just wanting to uh, wreak havoc in our lives. He's wanting to totally uh, devour us where there is no uh, essence of us left, okay? And so it's so imp uh, important for us to position ourselves where we are very conscious of how he will come for us. In James 1, 19 through 27, it says, Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. For the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. 
Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and superiority of naughtiness and receive the meekness, the engrafted word, which is able to save your souls. And again, that's James 1, 19 through 27. It says, but be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. For if any of any be a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like a man beholding his natural face in the glass. For he beholdeth himself and goeth his way, and straightway forgetteth what manner of man he is. But whosoever looketh into the perfect law of liberty and continueth therein, he being not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work. This man shall be blessed indeed. For any man among you seem to be religious and brighteneth not his tongue, but deceiveth his own heart. This man's religion is in vain. Pure religion and undefiled before God and the Father is this, to visit the fatherless and widows in their affliction and to keep himself unspotted from the world okay and so this scripture is letting us know that we must be swift to hear slow to act and become angry so uh, our anger must be slow our our actions must be slow but we must be keen in our hearing uh, we must be doers of the word and and not just hearers only okay and so when we fail to display active hearing or we are inactive in responding we fail to discern what is being spoken and even try uh and and we even also uh resist or or dull in our actions of trying the spirit okay and it's so important that you try the spirits in this hour in first john Four, one through five, it says, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirit, whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone into the world. Okay? And so that word try actually means to test. It means to approve. It means to discern or examine. It means to scrutinize or to recognize as genuine after examination or approval or after there is an unction of the Holy Spirit that this is deemed worthy, okay? And so uh, oftentimes we're not trying the Spirit. We're, We're focused on the natural or our emotions or who that person is. But it says, try every spirit. So even try my spirit. Try, you know, your mama's spirit, your daddy's spirit, every spirit. Because you want to make sure that what you are agreeing with is God's word. Is in alignment with God's will and purpose. You want to make sure that it pleases God and that it is of him. Okay? And so... In 1 Corinthians 12 and 10, it says, uh, For another worketh of miracles, to another prophecy, to another discerning of spirits, to another diverse kinds of tongues, uh, to another interpretation of tongues. So this scripture lets us know that uh, discernment is how we are to try the spirits, okay? And that discernment is actually a gift of the Holy Spirit. Now, one of the things I want to say about discernment is discernment is true and factual, okay? It is revealed through and by the Holy Spirit, okay? It is not, uh, if it's not of the Holy Spirit, then it's not discernment. Okay, it is either your human spirit or your intuition or suspicion at work, your moral compass could be at work. So, this is why a person can be unsaved 
but they still have good morals and values, so they do good things, all right? But that doesn't necessarily mean that they're operating through the gifts of the Holy Spirit or they're operating through discernment because discernment is a gift of the Holy Spirit and you have to have the Holy Spirit for it to work on the inside of you, okay? Um, if it's not the Holy Spirit, okay, uh, of discernment, then it could be man's influential spirit. It could be knowledge or reasoning. It could also be the, a demonic spirit, which is divination or witchcraft. Oftentimes, is coming from that well of divination and witchcraft. And um, uh, a lot of times we're assuming that because something is correct or somebody is speaking something that may have some truth, then it must be of God. But uh, demonic spirits, they track us, they monitor us. There are familiar spirits that operate in and around us. These spirits are gaining intel on our lives. They're reporting these spirits back, um, you know, to the demonic realm. People who are tied to these rams or, or, or have an open door to these rams, they are communing with these spirits or receiving intel from the second heaven uh, concerning you. So it's not necessarily that they are receiving uh, revelation from the Holy Spirit. Spirits could have tracked you and they are sharing insight and, and this person uh, is, is receiving downloads through divination, through witchcraft, and through communing uh, with these demonic spirits to gain intel on you, okay? Um, Many people will claim that they have discernment, but they have no relationship with God or his Holy Spirit. Uh, they're not praying consistently, studying their Bibles, living obedient to God. There is no fasting or consecrated life. And so uh, the fruit, okay, to which there is a demonstration that the Holy Spirit lives on the inside of you and that you are in alignment with God is not there. But because you're speaking something uh, or that person is speaking something that seems to be agreeable or, or uh, in, a, in, in some kind of resemblance to God, it is received. But Matthew 7, 15 through 20 says, beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are raving wolves. Ye shall know them by their fruits with an S. Fruits, okay? Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles? Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but every corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth not good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. Wherefore, by their fruits, with an S, ye shall know them. Okay? So, one day I was asking God, how would we know what good godly fruit is? And this is what he shared with me. He said, good fruits possess my character, my nature, truth. Biblical truth, biblical principles, standards, laws, and boundaries that are in alignment with me. Good fruit is solid in the production and identity of who I am. Okay, this is God speaking uh, to me. It does not possess some parts of me. It possesses all of me. And then the Lord went on to say that I'm the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. I am not changing based on variables or shadows of turning. I am that I am. I am solid in who I am, what I do, and what is of me. There is no solidification, okay? If there is no solidification in what is being manifested, Okay, then it's not of me and it's not kingdom fruit. 
okay if it does not align with my biblical word then it's not of me and so the lord went over to, on to share with me that good fruit is not conditional it is not conditional if a fruit go bad okay and there are parts that you can still eat this does not make it good fruit it does not make it kingdom fruit that fruit is still compromised okay it is not solid good fruit even if the parts you believe that you are eating are 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 edible okay they have contacted and had contact with that which was not okay sufficient to eat okay so it was really compromised fruit all right uh and it's not really good fruit even though you benefited from that part that looked like it was still useful okay and so in god's eyes this is not kingdom fruit okay do not expect it to provide the solid nutrition production or multiplication of him or his kingdom all right so uh the lord continued to share with me that that fruit was resourceful but it was not good fruit it, it got the job done by you being able to eat something all right but that doesn't necessarily mean it was good fruit it blessed you for the moment but that does not necessarily mean that it is good kingdom fruit this does not necessarily make these matters evil fruit but once my people begin to operate in truth regarding good fruit says the lord they will be able to discern what is really of me and what is not of me and also will have truth of the reason something did not produce fullness or sustaining kingdom results it was not good fruit it was just a good manifestation says the lord it was not from my tree says the lord and so when we think about good kingdom fruit or even just fruit in general fruit requires proper care to be productive useful and sustaining in its purpose so when good fruit is not governed properly it rots it dies so let's say for example you got fruit at home if you leave that fruit uh out or you leave it um uh it, you know in a place where uh it really should be uh stored in a different way it it'll die okay if you leave a fruit on the tree too long it'll die okay if you do not use it quick enough it'll die it'll be in your refrigerator but you go in there it'll be rotten okay if you leave it in the wrong environment if it's supposed to be in the refrigerator but you leave it on the counter for a week it'll die all right uh if you don't govern it properly it can be stolen and we know that from the uh parable of the sower in matthew 13 okay if you don't govern it properly it can be destroyed by demonic agents and we know this from john 10 and 10 when it says the thief cometh not but to steal kill and destroy but i come that she might have life and that more abundantly uh and then we know that sometimes you can leave uh fruit in different areas and then it can become infested uh infested with rodents and pestilence and snares and so uh god is saying i am solid fruit that can it, it um and my fruit uh, has to be even governed properly because if it's mishandled or misused okay it will not produce or reproduce where i am trying to uh bring uh sustainability and in john 15 and 16 it says ye have not chosen me but i have chosen you and ordained you that ye should go and bring it forth fruit and that your fruit should remain that whatsoever ye shall ask of the father in my name he may give it to you and so that word remain actually means to stay it means to abide or continue it means to dwell 
Uh, it means to um, survive or live. Uh, and it means uh, also to be steady. So the results of the production and utilization of God's fruit, his kingdom fruit is lasting. It will remain. It will, it will have sustaining fruit. It will just won't have temporary fruit. And so oftentimes we are calling things that uh, do not really have sustainability as God's fruit, but it may or may not necessarily be his fruit because what he produces generally has a uh, maturity to it. Uh, it also tends to evolve into a greater measure of production, multiplication, and harvest, and even produces generational uh, fruit with it. And so uh, this is so important because we need to make sure that what we are producing is abiding and what we are agreeing to is abiding it can remain it can stay uh it's it's not just good for the moment but it is eternal and long lasting uh, another way that god told me that we are to be discerning in this hour is to understand how discernment work and so when we think about uh fruit and how we judge fruit we need to understand that when we are discerning we are actually exploring uh, 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 whether this thing is uh, of God or is it of the devil? Is it uh, good or is it bad? Is it true? Because discernment is true and factual, okay? It's a, it's a matter of fact, uh, explanation, perception, understanding clarity okay it's it's not mixed with anything there is no mixture there is no uh um uh, worldliness to it no carnality it it has the solid fruit of god's kingdom his word his purpose his will his character his nature okay so oftentimes when we're discerning there's kind of like this staggering in us uh, we're, we're, we're striving to separate thoroughly what is true and what is not true. We may have some uh, instances where we're feeling like we're discriminating or we're deciding and we're even cautious. There's a cautious that comes up on us, a hesitancy. Uh, we just have this uh, 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 Holy Spirit unction that something is wrong and we begin to wrestle with that with that um with that thing we begin to wrestle uh within our own spirit uh as to whether or not this is of god or not and um when when this is happening this is the holy spirit unctioning us to confront what we are seeing and really to search out further with him is this of god and so oftentimes what we tend to do is we tend to focus on how we feel in the flesh or whatever, or how we, or what we perceive. We don't consider, is this lining with the word? We don't consider what our spirit is saying and what the Holy Spirit is, tr is striving to guide us into as he would bring more enlightenment about what he's striving to speak to us. So even oftentimes I hear people say, well, I don't think it's wrong because I didn't, I didn't feel like it was wrong. But the Holy Spirit is not a, a feeling. He is an, the spirit and presence of God. And so uh, the Holy Spirit is, um, is also a, a convictor. And so his, as he is guiding us into all truth, the, his spirit convicts us through what is righteous and holy and virtuous through the character and nature and principles of God. So it's not about how we feel. It's about what the word says. It's about who God really is. Okay, it's about uh, his character, his nature. It's about the truth of what he's already spoken to you and told you was right uh, and orderly and agreeable according to his will, not our own. And so this is very important when you're searching out 
those uh, demonic agreements because you don't want to come into alignment with something that is unhealthy or unholy, uh, something that uh, resembles God, but it's not the full fruit of who he is. And so it's so important in this hour that you would be slow to act and, and, and be more active in hearing and, 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 and helping uh, and, and coming into agreement with the Holy Spirit so he can help you discern what is factual and what is not factual. And so you must try every spirit. You must be swift to hear, slow to speak, okay, and slow to anger so that you can stay grounded in, in the presence and posture of the Holy Spirit and be convicted unto him to really discern what you should be agreeing to and what you shouldn't be agreeing to. And I yield my mic. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Apostle. Thank you very much. We must be in a great, we must be aware. We must be aware. We must be diligent. Um, because there's an adversary. Whether we, we like it or not, believe it or not, there is an adversary. Amen. We must, we must be vigilant. Vigilant, that's the word. Vigilant, in Jesus' name. Um, I don't know if anybody has any questions before I, I would ask Apostle to pray to what she has shared before we close the room. Is there any question from anyone? Very briefly. To be a yes or a no. Okay. Has this word blessed you? So good that uh, response from Alicia says few. Ooh. Be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to run. Thank you, Mr. Doran. Anybody else? Amen. I love I love believe it's powerful. Praise God. Great word. What did you get from the word? Come on, people. Let's do a bit better. Slow to speak. Slow to speak. <laughs> Your eyes taste all. Thank you, person. Spirits. And may I say we're not being suspicious because discerning is not being suspicious. It's factual. It means you are checking. You are checking in the spirit. Discerning, thank you. Oh, you deleted your comment. Anybody else, please? Let's do this quickly. I like knowing that you're going with something. Try the spirit. So you need to know the spirit to be able to try the spirit to be able to recognize the good or evil. Whether the spirit is the spirit of God or is not of God. Watch the fruit. Thank you. Thank you. Being good does not mean you were born again. Definitely, sir. Say, so, well, everybody's good. Everybody's a child of God. Mm. Okay, so all spirits, um, I don't know if you want to speak into be alert in our interactions. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. I'm waiting for the comments. Let's, let's, have, let's have a few. We, we're quite a good number in the room, except you are, you don't know how to get to the chat, or maybe you were not paying attention, or be sober. Thank you very much. Just be good students of God's word. No, we don't have this opportunity in church. Pastor doesn't ask because the first time I tried asking people what I preached, my God. I need to start the service all over again. Let me hear from a few people. Five more chats, five more comments on the chat would be great. Five more. 
Are you looking okay? Being sure that you don't come into agreement with what is contrary to his word. Yes. Yes, the devil wants our agreement. So don't be quiet. Silence is consent. This, this, we, we, you really need to, to listen to the whole teaching. She has really summarized it. But there, there is, there is a lot more to this. Okay, in order to be sharp in discernment, we must have close relationship with God. Thank you. Yes. 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 If fruits are not governed properly, they will die. Yes. The whole teaching, okay, is packed. All right. It's a typical Pentecostal response. Okay. Um, Apostle, can I ask that you're praying to this so we don't keep it for long? Um, the replay is available for you to come back and listen to it. Thank you very much for sharing this with us. It's very, very important. One of the things that I am personally very, very concerned with is when we are in agreement with certain... Um, she's not going into that, but it's like when... I'm going to be very practical now. Um, watch what you listen to. Many Christians say, oh, that music is clean. It's not that bad. But it's just entertainment. It's okay. You can't just listen to Jesus music. Why are the people not listening, singing about Jesus? Mm -hmm. Why are them... Why are they not submitting to God? Why are they doing what they're doing? It's not an error. It's because they know. So when you're justifying what they're doing and being a part of it, Jesus says, those who are not with me are against me. You're making an agreement. Let's be very aware. Test the spirit. Don't ignore when the Holy Spirit is alerting you. Thank you. Thank you. That's powerful. That is very important. Don't ignore when the Holy Spirit is alerting you. You know why? There was a particular movie. I told my children, wow, my daughter wants to go and watch this. That music. In fact, when we, we saw the, the, it's not even the Marine one. Now it's another movie, but it has also, it's, a, it's another movie that's actually connected to the Marine world. And we saw the, the, them advertising, went to watch another movie. And I said to my son, that, was, that movie's demonic. I said, that movie's demonic. I, I, I would not watch it. And I think my daughter went out to watch with a friend and she came back and said, that movie is demonic. And, and I think my son was born into, yeah, just yesterday, in fact, I heard him shouting, mom, mom, you're right. Mom, you were right. That movie is demonic. Now they need to really know, be able to discern between good and bad for them to be able to identify So it's very important. But if you don't know what is of God, then you won't be able to discern that this is not of God. It's very important. Thank you very much. So don't ignore. Also, don't ignore when the Holy Spirit is alerting you. Thank you very much. Um, Minister Karinza, she has put the link for the full teaching. Don't accept everything that we hear. The Spirit of God must bear witness according to his word. Thank you. Okay, this information was power packed and worthy to be listened again, again, definitely. Okay, my God, amen. Don't be quick to give an answer, but quick to listen. True. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Everyone that has put something on the chat, thank you. It's always good to know that you heard something and you're going with it. And I will leave this with us before I ask Apostle to, to um, pray. There's power in a repetition. Okay, power and repetition. A woman of God said, if you don't listen to something 10 times, in fact, after you listen to something 10 times, that's when you begin to listen to it. So do come back and listen to the replay or click on save the link that has been shared in the chat. When you listen to something, that's the reason really why we're able to share God's word is because it's the same word that you would always find in the same chapter, in the same verse. And repetition is what has released power for us to work in the realm of the dimension in which we're walking in the spirit because we keep listening to the same word. It's the same word. It could be a new revelation or, or a higher di or, or, or uh, 
another layer of revelation that the Holy Spirit releases to us. But the same word, same word releases life. So it's important when you hear something, listen to it again and again and again and again and again. There's power in repetition. Amen. Okay. Uh, Apostle, thank you very much. I yield and thank you again. God bless you. Uh, blessings, my honor, uh, Pastor Praise. I do want to say that the written um, version of this teaching is on my blog at kswu.net. And so um, you can download it and study it for yourself. And then the link that Carenza is putting up is um, an ex a teaching of this same word that I did um, on Sunday. And we spent over three hours teaching this word. So I did summarize it today uh, and uh, or what have you. But uh, on Sunday, I taught the entire word in detail with uh, examples. Uh, and, and so um, my team and Pastor Praise also gave examples and further revelation of uh, how to discern demonic agreement. So I do highly recommend going back and listening to that word. Uh, there was another part that I uh, forgot to share and I just want to uh, share it. Uh, and it was a revelation that God had given me the other day. Um, and uh, he has shared that we can come into demonic agreements that block our blessings when we align with unhealthy mindsets and heart postures that open the door to demonic or unhealthy agreements. So it's even important to be mindful and to even cleanse, repent and, and cleanse quickly when we start to agree with doubt and unbelief, when we start to have a fear of expectation that God would bless us, when we really start to lean to hope deferred, or, or fear of uh, delay or that something is going to be delayed. When we start to uh, fear asking God to bless us because we don't think he's going to bless us or we don't want to have an expectation and a hope that he will bless us, that's coming into agreement with ungodly and demonic agree uh, agreements uh, that, are, are, that are contrary to his word and contrary to his character. Uh, when we fail to acknowledge and celebrate when God is uh, blessing us. So a lot of times he's blessing us, but because we looking for the next wrong thing to happen or the next warfare to happen or, you know, or whatever, we don't stay in that posture of celebration and thanksgiving. And that is what really opens the door to the enemy coming in because we made an alliance with you know uh, uh, with fearing that something is going to happen and not giving God the glory that he deserves versus aligning and celebrating and recognizing that he's always good you know and that thanksgiving is essential uh, uh, it, it, it is part of what continues to allow his blessings and his favor and protection to embody us uh, asking amiss, you know, so asking things that are contrary to God and his word um, or not really having faith. Also, uh, being being mindful of what you agree with in your dream realm and in your sleep realm in night season. So, you know, you're having certain ungodly dreams or demonic dreams and then instead of getting up and praying and canceling what you agree with or things that you did in your dream that was unseemingly you just go on about your day and 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 those de demonic or ungodly or unhealthy alliances uh, 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 occur and and just uh, begin to uh, open up a gateway in your natural life uh, by coming through your dream realm and manifesting those things. And even when he uh, wanted, it, wanted uh, even as God was giving me this word and I was just praying into it, I uh, 
uh, sometimes I'll I'll be praying and then I'll uh, go into the spirit realm and I'll begin to pray in the spirit and sometimes I will even just uh, fall asleep or I start to fall asleep and so I entered into a realm and the next thing I know somebody was uh, kissing me and uh, uh, I could feel the oppression even in the natural come up on me and I immediately woke myself out of the dream and I began to break the whatever agreement was trying to pull me into agreement through that through that kiss and it immediately broke off of me and a lot uh, one of the things that God was showing me is that kissing is a sign of acceptance and regard and honor and agreement it's also a sign of pleasure and affection so if I would would not have uh, spent time breaking um, that agreement, that uh, ungodly agreement, then uh, that oppression would have overtaken me and really opened doors to things occurring in my life. And so it's so important to make sure that even in your dreams that you are um, uh, being mindful not to agree with certain things. And if things do occur like that, uh, that happened to me, that you wake up and deal with it quickly. Because your yes has to be yes, and your no has to be no. Your yay has to be yay, you know. And 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 your I don't agree. I, I serve the Lord. Has to be I serve the Lord. And so, um, just even being mindful in that way. So I just wanted to make sure that I shared that because um, that was uh, part of the teaching that I just got uh, over the last. Um, I think that was Monday. Uh, or what have you so I can thank you very much okay. yeah. Yeah, just before you pray that's um, very important and and here we are sometimes um, I, I would ask very quickly Apostle what if somebody does not remember their dreams how do we cover that because I think sometimes when those things do happen but the person did not remember that they had the dream mm hmm when and when I don't remember my dream or when I wake up and I'm not sure what I have dreamed, I uh, I um, soak myself in the blood of Jesus Christ and I command anything that's ungodly or unrighteous to be nullified in my life, canceled over my life. I'll, I'll even pray over my family or in my ministry and everything that concerns me. I'll, I'll, I'll command a canceling and a nullifying of anything that's ungodly, unrighteous, unholy. And I just decree only if uh, the dream was of God in alignment with him and, and aligned up with what he wants to operate in my life, do I, I agree with that. And so that's kind of how I handle uh, those dreams. I also, if I know that um, uh, I was visited by a demonic spirit or spirits was attacked, uh, was attacking me in my dreams or something like that, but I still don't remember exactly what happened, I'll send the angels <laughs> to deal with uh, any spirits, familiar spirits, people who astro projected into my dream or whatever. Um, uh, I'll just send the angels to deal with them uh, or, or what have you, and I'll send out a counterattack anyway. Uh, and so uh, the, the angels and, and, you know, God will know what to deal with that I may not remember. Um, so if I wake up and I'm feeling some kind of way and I know I have been visited, that's how I uh, tend to deal with those uh, demonic uh, spirits. I also will ask the Holy Spirit to bring things back to my remembrance and I'll cancel any mind binding or mind blinding or zapping spirits that um, stole that dream and I'll, I'll command the, uh, the restoration of that dream to come uh, to be restored unto me. And sometimes that uh, I will remember after I do that as well. So that's another tactic that you can use. And then depending on what the Holy Spirit reveals to me, I will uh, deal with that dream accordingly. I will say this, sometimes when we don't remember our dreams, we get frustrated and we get in our emotions. And when you do that, that closes down your ability to hear from God. It, it closes you off. And so you really need to stay in a place of peace 
uh, because uh, as you would do that, that's why sometimes you might not initially remember. And then as you go throughout your day and you're kind of more calm and at ease, bits and pieces of that dream will start coming back to you because you're not in that frustrated place. But when we first wake up and we realize, oh, I don't remember what I dreamed. And then, you know, depending on how much that is happening, you get discouraged or what have you. It really shuts down the eyes of your understanding from being enlightened by God to receive from him because uh, God operates through the fruit of his spirit and, and through his uh, the sevenfold operation of his spirit in Isaiah 11, okay? And so um, it, um, dis- discouragement, fear, uh, timidity, uh, anger, you know, all of these uh, um, character are not characteristics of him. So it's not going to open a... Um, a um, open your spirit up to him. So you really need to come to a um, a posture that opens his spirit, your spirit uh, up to him, opens up the eyes of your understanding up to him, which would be peace, love, knowing that you're protected, knowing that whatever happened can be canceled and nullified. He had he's the author and finisher of your faith. You know, you want to posture in those places uh or what have you so that you can hear and 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 receive and be restored in whatever it is that was lost. And I yield I yield my name. Thank you very much, Apostle. Okay, so um we would need to have a session about dreams because I know when once we answer one question about dreams, many people would have to ask questions. But I'm going to take advantage of it. Just answer one question, please. I'm begging us in the room, don't ask any other questions about dreams. Maybe you can send a message to Apostle. She might ask. We would have a session on dreams. I know she's going to even have a webinar on dreams. Is that right? Yes, I'll have a, a webinar as, uh, on dreams this, I don't know what month it is, but I'll have to look at my schedule, uh, but it, it is listed on there. Uh, I don't think any, yeah, uh, it is listed on my schedule, uh, but I don't know what month it is, but yes, I'll be having okay. that, yeah. All right, so please look out for Apostle Tequita's, um webinar on dreams. Um, and you'll be able to ask all the questions that you have about dreams, please. Just It's just because of time. But somebody is asking the chat about um, why does she see dead relatives in her dreams? Uh, you could be seeing familiar spirits in your dreams um, or what have you. Uh, that's kind of a loaded question. Um, you, mm-hmm. you could you could be seeing familiar spirits uh, uh, or what have you. It, it may not actually be the person that died uh, or what have you. And so uh, that's one reason why you could be seeing it. Um, oh, help me, Holy Ghost. Um, sometimes I will say this because I know that some people believe if you see dead people in your dreams, it's got to be demonic. I don't actually believe that. Um, uh, sometimes God will use people that we know to get our attention. So that could be occurring too. So it really depends on what the dream is about and what you're actually seeing uh, or what have you. I will say that if God is, if it's God, a lot of times you're not actually engaging that person. That person is kind of doing something in the dream or whatever and 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 um you're recognizing what they're doing uh uh or whatever the case may be um sometimes god will have um will if somebody has passed away there may be closure that's coming to you through a dream of seeing them or what have you if there's something demonic and ungodly happening in the dream then you really have to search out what that's about uh or what have you sometimes you're experiencing generational uh god is god is giving you generational interpretation of something or he's helping you to see that something is coming from the uh that generational line to which that person is tied to so he may use that person in the dream 
or even if it's an ungodly dream, you might, uh, that person, uh, spirit might be in the dream because that person may have opened it, opened that, uh, generational line up to that. Um, uh, and so you're seeing that familiar spirit that's tied to that, um, that generational line. Uh, the lines are very important. The word talks about the third uh, sins and transgressions being upon us from the third, fourth, and fifth generation. So that could be key too. You're seeing your grandma. What generation? Uh, what generation is that? You know, uh, within your generational line that you're seeing, and what is she doing? You know, or whatever. Uh, so those things. Uh, are in uh are are important to assess as well so there's really without me actually knowing the dream i can't really give you a definitive but it, i will say that it's not always the devil even though people will say that but there is instances where there could be necromancy witchcraft in your uh, bloodline and that's where people are are communing with the dead they're conjuring up the dead or whatever so those familiar spirits are coming up from the bloodline and communing and engaging uh, you know you and other family members in the dream if there is grief and loss there and you haven't gotten over that person dying you could uh, engage with familiar spirits in your dream realm and even see ghostly type figures in and around your house or sphere of influence i do have a book called uh communing with the deceased i don't know uh Carenza, if you could go on the website and type in deceased the name of that book will come up i do have an ebook on this and i explain why you would see um dead relatives in your in your dreams or what have you and i share the good and the and the bad um uh, uh, regarding that so i highly recommend that uh, it's an ebook uh, or what have you. Uh, so, uh, I recommend getting that, uh, dr that book. Uh, so I would have to know the dream before I can actually give you a definitive, but those are some reasons why you would see, um, uh, uh, dead relatives in your, in your dreams, or you would have communing, uh, with, with dead relatives in your dreams. So it's not always bad, but, but oftentimes you could be dealing with a familiar spirit. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay. Come in. Come in with deceased loved ones. Um, is it godly? All right. So we can, we can search that out. And um, when the Apostle checks out her diary, because I know she, she's advertised something about dreams, we'll be able to, um, those of you that are interested, please sign up for this web, for that webinar, you'll be able to ask, um, well, listen, first of all, to the teaching and be able to ask as many questions as you would, what you'd like to. It's very important that we um, um, have understanding of the things because life is spiritual. And so we must have an understanding of both worlds that we are in. Um, when I mean both worlds, the natural and also the spiritual world, um, so that we're able to navigate very effectively mm -hmm. in Jesus' name. Okay. All right, ma'am, please uh, pray into the word um, before we close. Thank you very much. Lord God, we just thank you for the word today. Lord God, we thank you uh, for sending revelation and insight that will keep us safe and operating, Lord God, in agreeable uh, lines, Lord God, uh, with you, Lord God, operating according to your will and purpose for our lives, Lord Jesus Christ. And even now, Lord God, we just repent for any ungodly or unhealthy demonic agreements that we have already come into alignment 
with, Lord God. We ask for your blood, Lord Jesus Christ, to come and wash us and cleanse us, Lord God, personally, spiritually, Lord God, uh, generationally, Lord Jesus Christ, uh, uh, even concerning our situations, uh, uh, Lord God, uh, things that we have done in and around our lives, Lord God. We ask for an uh, outpouring of your blood, Lord Jesus Christ, to purify us, uh, uh, Lord God, as we fall out of agreement with every ungodly, uh, Lord God, and unhealthy demonic agreement, Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, we say we don't care who it was, Lord God, whether family member or foe, if it's not of you, Lord Jesus Christ, uh, we repent right now, uh, Lord God, and we ask for your forgiveness, uh, and we ask for a blood washing and a blood cleansing, uh, Lord God. We fall out of agreement with anything uh, that does not please you. Anything, Lord Jesus Christ, that does not align uh, uh, with your character, your nature, your will, your purpose, uh, Lord God, for our lives. Anything that's contrary to your kingdom, Lord God, uh, to who you are, anything that's anti-Christ. We renounce it today. We reject it today, Lord Jesus Christ. And we ask for a blood washing and a blood cleansing, Lord God. We even decree a breaking right now, Lord God, of all demonic contracts, Lord God, written contracts, Lord God, uh, uh, contracts that were done by word of mouth, Lord yes. Jesus Christ, witchcraft contracts, any yes. way that we have, uh, uh, Lord God, operated on trading floors, uh, uh, Lord Jesus Christ, through compromise, uh, uh, through things that we have watched, uh, things that we have listened to, Lord God, even how we have... Um, things that we have liked on social media or commented on, uh, Lord God, anything, Lord God, that we have agreed with uh, out of subtle loyalty or loyalty and obligation to family members and friends and uh, Lord God, people that we are in relationship with, things on our jobs, policies and procedures, Lord God, we decree a divine breaking right now. Lord God, we command every soul type to concerning these contracts or any way that our words uh, have caused a contract in the spirit, a spiritual contract, Lord God. We break it today. We break soul ties with it. We break soul ties with the demonic kingdoms that are attached to them, Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ. We break soul ties to altars, Lord God, and idol gods uh, that are attached to these demonic and unhealthy agreements. We break soul ties uh, with the trading floors, uh, uh, Lord God, and the demonic spirits behind, uh, Lord God, these demonic attacks, uh, these demonic systems and agreements, uh, uh, Lord God, we fall out of agreement with it today, and we command a divine purging and cleansing through the blood of Jesus Christ, God. We say that you are blotting out, uh, Lord God, our sins uh, through your blood, Lord God, and your works on the cross, uh, even now, Lord God. God, and nullifying every contract, uh, uh, Lord Jesus Christ, obliterating it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, yes, deeming it null and void as if it never occurred, Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Anything that we've done ignorantly, Lord God, anything that we've not done knowingly, Lord God, anything that we've done, uh, uh, Lord God, uh, uh, oh, yes, 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 uh, uh, Lord God, uh, 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 just even to try to get our own needs met. We repent uh, and we say, blood of Jesus, wash. Blood of Jesus obliterates right now. Rukai, Hesobaya, anything that has tied uh, uh, even our generational line, uh, Lord God, from now to Jesus Christ comes to witchcraft and idolatry because of things that we have agreed with, with our mouths uh, and with our hands, Lord God. We repent uh, and we break his power. We stand as 
curse breakers uh, right now, Lord God, in the gap uh, uh, for a generational line, past, present, and future. And we nullify these contracts, Lord God. Uh, we break their powers. We break their holes. We break their spells. Uh, we break their hexes, their vexes, uh, their voodoo, their hoodoo. Uh, Lord God, we break it. We break their incantations in every way that it has boxed us in, every way that it has caused the accuser of the brethren to come into our lives, every way that it is a potential scandal or has a release scandal, Lord God, every way that it has altered our good name, oh Lord Jesus Christ, we break its power right now, we silence the accuser, Lord God, as we snatch him into the courtroom, we silence betrayal and scandal, Lord God, as we snatch spirits attached to uh, these uh, attacks uh, into the courtroom and we say judge them Lord Jesus Christ uh, yes and nullify these assignments uh, Lord God in any way that they're cooking uh, unaware Lord God to try to be, be released uh, in the future uh, against us Lord God we, we, we shut those doors right now Lord God uh, we set fire to those file cabinets uh, uh, Lord Jesus Christ we lose confusion to familiar spirits monitoring spirits tracking spirits, eavesdropping spirits, Lord God, witches and warlocks and those who are picking up second heaven intel on our behalf, Lord God. We say it's being obliterated right now in the name of Jesus as your blood is washing us uh, and enacting a greater covenant, a greater agreement, the only agreement that we come into alignment with, Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, Yes, Lord God. We say we stand up uh, and we let our yea be yea and I know yes. be no Lord Jesus yes. Christ as we agree with only what you say we fall out of agreement with fear of man we fall out of agreement of fear of going to jail we fall out of agreement of fear of dying Lord God we fall out of agreement uh, with anything uh, Lord God fear of losing our jobs anything uh, Lord Jesus Christ where we will sign a contract uh, or come into agreement Lord God uh, of something that is not of you we say that we are shifting to a place of being diligent. Yes. Lord God, watchful, Lord Jesus Christ, active and conscious, uh, uh, Lord God, about what we stand for and who we stand for, uh, Lord God. We decree we are on the Lord's side. Raki, yes. As for us in our house, we serve you, Lord Jesus yes. Christ. You are the author and finisher of our faith. Oh, yes. Lord God. Oh, Lord God. So we rise up in that truth right now, Lord God. Amen. We rise up in the proclamation uh, uh, that if it's not the Lord, uh, it is not agreeable, Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. Uh, and we rise up to sound in the alarm, uh, Lord God, Amen. in the spheres of influence that you have given us to govern, uh, Lord God. Yes, yes, yes. Where we produce your justice, your will, Amen. your purpose, uh, your truth, yes. your counsel, your principles, yes. your standards. Uh, your character, your nature, Lord God, yes. in our midst, Lord Jesus Christ, Ababaya, we judge the devourer as we snatch in him into the courtroom right now, yes. Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, we command a regurgitation of everything uh, that has mm. been devoured concerning us, Lord God, uh, yes. and what you have promised us, uh, what you have prophesied over us, what you have said is ours, Lord Jesus yes. Christ, Abaya, and as we have repented, we command restoration, uh, Lord Amen. God, of what has been devoured, what has been stolen. We call for the reviving. We call Amen. for the renewing. Uh, we call for the reliving, Lord God. We call it for the regeneration, uh, Lord Amen. God, upon it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We release Amen. the resurrection power of the cross, yes. Lord God, upon it. Uh, Lord God, as we stand in the truth that you have come to bring life uh, and that more abundantly Lord God and what you have for us is for us we fall out of agreement with disbelief Uh, we fall out of agreement with a lack of faith Uh, we fall out of agreement with fearing expectation Lord God we say you are God who blesses we fall out of agreement with hope deferred Lord God any way that we are sick through hope deferred whether emotionally Lord God, uh, in our 
perception or in our bodies. Uh, we ask for healing today in the name of Amen. Jesus Christ. Uh, we break the power of hope deferred right now, yes. Lord God. Rakisaya. We fall out of agreement with its sickness, its affliction, Lord God. Rakabaya. We fall out of agreement with hopelessness and helplessness, yes. Lord God. We shift to a place of faith uh, and believe Amen. in you and come into an agreement, oh Lord Amen. Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, yes, 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 that we can have what we say, Lord Jesus yes. Christ. That miracle signs and wonders follow those who believe, yes. Lord God. We shift into having unwavering belief uh, and Amen. unwavering faith in you, Lord Amen. Jesus Christ. We shift into uh, learning how to trust and rest in, in seasons yes. and moments of celebration, Lord Amen. God. Yes, and thanksgiving as your yes. mercies are new morning after morning after morning after morning yes. after morning as your goodness uh, is chasing us Thank down and, and running us over, Lord God, as we are consistently praying, uh, Lord yes. God, and we are in expectation that you are shifting yes. heaven to earth on our behalf. We thank Amen. you for manifestation, Lord God, tangible manifestation Amen. of your kingdom operating in our midst. Uh, oh, Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, and we fall out of agreement with asking amiss. Uh, we fall out of agreement, Lord God, with demonic uh, 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 dreams and uh, visions and night attacks, Lord God, and any any things that we have done unseemly in our dreams. Uh, we even <laughs> repent for that, Lord God, uh, yes. in the name of Jesus Christ. And we shut the door to sin. We shut the door Amen. to transgressions, Lord God. We shut the door. We become active even in our dream where, where we will choose you in our sleep. Uh, oh, Lord yes. Jesus Christ. Uh, and even if there is something that would happen, we will wake up. Uh, oh, Lord Jesus Christ, immediately canceling, uh, uh, Lord God, that which is unseeming, uh, uh, Lord God, and further aligning uh, uh, with you, Lord God. We shut the door to demonic Amen. dreams Amen. right now. Yes. We shut demonic portals in our eye in gates, uh, in Jesus. our amygdala, Lord God, in our soul, in and around our homes, uh, in and around our territories, Lord God, in our spheres of influence. Yes. We cancel and divorce every demonic dream agent, uh, uh, Lord God, that visit us in our sleep. We judge shape-shifting demons, Lord God. We judge it right now. We judge any familiar spirits, Lord God. Yes. We judge familiar guys and ancestral guys. Uh, we fall out of agreement, uh, Lord God, with communing with these demons in our sleep. Yes. Lord God, we judge witches and warlocks from our uh, household wickedness on our mother's side and our father's side uh, in every way that it opened up the uh, doors uh, to demonic yes. dreams and, 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 and the devil trying to get us to be uh, agree with him. Uh, Lord God, as we sleep, we cancel it right now in, in the, the name Jesus. of Jesus. We eternally release Psalms 91 over our dream Amen. realm uh, and over our sleep realm. We decree Amen. no evil shall befell us or come near our dwelling, but we sleep under the shadows uh, of your wings, Lord God, and we commune with you uh, in our night season. You are Lord of our lives every day of our lives, every second of our lives, 24 hours a, a day, Lord God, whether we are asleep or uh, whether we are awake, we choose uh, you, Lord Jesus Christ, yes. So we thank you that these demonic contracts uh, are broken. We thank you that any way we have communed uh, with food, uh, Lord God, or with uh, 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 sexual acts or inordinate acts, Lord God, uh, we break those agreements in our dream and sleep realm, uh, Lord God, and we lose purity, righteousness, holiness Amen. through the blood of Jesus Christ yes. uh, into our dream realm and into our sleep realm to purify yes. uh, those realms, Lord God, and restore them uh, uh, back under your kingdom, Lord God, in our governmental dominion of who we are in you, Lord Jesus Christ, as rulers uh, and sons, uh, uh, Lord yes. God, of your kingdom and your kingdom inheritance, Lord God. Amen. We bless you for the deliverance and healing that we receive today. We bless you for the revelation that we receive. We say we are embodying it and we will try every spirit, even mama spirit, daddy spirit, sister spirit, Lord Jesus, right? Boyfriend spirit, our husband spirits, our wife spirit, our boss's spirit. We will try every 
every spirit, Lord Jesus Christ, our favorite teacher, our favorite leader, our favorite minister. We will try every spirit and we thank you for your presence uh, of discernment that is on the inside of us through the Holy Spirit that is a spiritual convictor, Lord God. We come out of agreement with letting our emotions uh, dictate to us what's right or wrong. Our thoughts dictate to us what's right or wrong. We say, Holy Spirit, take your place uh, on the inside of us and guide us into all truth. Uh, Yes, where we keenly discern what is true kingdom fruit uh, and what is uh, uh, not of you. Oh, yes, yes, yes. We decree uh, uh, that we have the righteous uh, gift of discernment on the inside of us. Uh, uh, Yes, yes. And from this day forward, we will trust what you say. Holy Spirit, speak to us. Guide us. Uh, uh, Yes, 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 yes. Uh, uh, Yes, and mature us uh, into Christ's likeness. Yes, thank you, God. We just seal this prayer thanking you, Lord Jesus Christ, that it is eternally so in Jesus' name. Amen and amen and amen. Amen. And amen and amen. Thank you. God bless you. God. Thank you to everyone who is still here with us. In Jesus' name, thank you. He was a song since 3 3. Indeed, we thank God for that liberation. In the name of Jesus, may we continue to walk.